Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do a quick empties video. I have a ton of stuff to show you, and I just really need to get through them. There's nothing really exciting in this empties video. It's just products I've used up. I'm going to start off with candles. I finished a two-wick tumbler from Yankee Candle in Vanilla Lime. It was a medium scent throw. It burned all the way down, except for a lot of black soot. Vanilla Lime is an okay scent. Nothing too spectacular. I finished a large Pure Radiance Crackling Vase Candle in Cinnamon. It burned, again, all the way down, clean burn, as all Yankee candles mainly do. Um, still some black soot at the top, but um, it was a light scent. I couldn't smell it. For a cinnamon candle, I was pretty disappointed. I finished a Travel Tin Candle from, Ye from Bath & Body Works in Aloha Waikiki. This is Hula's and Hibiscus, which is like Plumeria, Thierry Flowers, and Orange Blossom, and Sugar Cane. Um, it's super yummy. It's a sugary flower scent. I really like it, and this burned pretty strong for a little candle. I finished three Three Wicks. I finished Lemon Mint Leaf, which is a candle that I love to burn when I'm cleaning my room or my house. And, um, it burned really clean. It's a super strong candle. Um, just a very, like, cleaner lemon scent. I love it. I finished Autumn, which had an awful burn literally <coughs> low flames throughout the whole entire jar i was so tired of this candle when i was done even though i love the scent pomegranate red apple juicy fig and fur balsam which smells awesome but i was so mad that the burn was terrible but oh well this one is ice cream shop which again had a terrible burn it was a low flames all the way throughout the end, except for like right here it started to get high, which was really weird. Um, and it's like a vanilla scent. It almost reminds me of melted ice cream and like you mix everything together. That's what it smells like. Nothing too spectacular. I finished a Glade Salted Caramel Automatic Spray Refill. They look just like this. Stick it in your um, spray bottle. Um, I put this in the garage. It was okay. I don't like Glade. I used to like these for the garage, but now I have Bath & Body Works Wallflowers in there. Um, this one is a Peach Bellini Concentrated Room Spray from Bath & Body Works. This was very yummy. I really like this scent. I keep the room sprays in the bathroom. I finished a Pumpkin Apple Mini Candle from Bath & Body Works. It looks just like this. Fancy, fancy top. Whoa, almost dropped it. Um, and it smelled okay. It's just like a typical pumpkin apple scent. Like, it's just a mix half and half. Nothing too good and the scent throw was like nothing. It's so tiny you couldn't smell it at all. Then I finished a Yankee Candle Centerpiece Easy Melt Cup in Harvest. Now these are a new concept. I actually have a review video on these coming up so if you want to see how these work stay tuned. They're really cool. I finished a Party Light Scent Plus Melt in Mulberry. Now their scent plus their um clamshells are really cool. There's nine of them. It's in a circle. They are hard to break at first, but they do end up working really well. Um, it was a medium scent. Nothing too strong or anything. It was okay. I liked it. Um, I finished... Let me get these here. Some tarts. I finished Front Porch Sugary Banana Blueberry. I finished Tiffany Candles Get Naked. Tiffany Candles Honey Bunny. I'm really working through my tarts. And Vintage Chic Scents War of the Worlds. Um, there we go. So, oh, is this everything back? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, War of the Worlds, which was, they were all fine. They're, you know, nothing special. I really am trying to use up all my Tiffany Candles, though, because I've had them for so long, and I don't want them to lose their scent. And so far, they haven't. I finished two of these new candles from this other candle company called LightTheNightCandles.com. I will actually leave a link in the down bar below. Um, they sent me these candles for free to review, to try out, and my honest opinion on them is they are very good candles. They're super strong, they burn clean, and the only thing I don't like is the jar shape. It's just like a mug. I mean, it's okay, but um, they did, they burn pretty cleanly. Um, super strong too. And this one's in wine tasting, which is red wine, and it's like a super, super fruity scent, but it does have that like tingly scent. So it's okay. The scent was okay. This one was yummy. 
This one was called Melon Triple, and it was like a uh, per uh, not per pinkish wax, orange wax, and then this green wax. So it was watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew. So right now I can only smell the honeydew, but it's super super strong. I put this out in my garage, and literally the whole garage smell. And we have a finished gar garage, so it's not like I just stick them out there and burn them. I am out there. We have a TV, everything in there. It's not like you know we do anything. But this is Melon Triple. It was good. So definitely check those candles out. They're pretty good. Um, now on to all the body beauty products. I finished Purity Made Simple One Step Cleansing Cloths. I like to use this right before I um, go to bed on nights that I just am so tired I can't to not to wash my face. Um, I stick these literally right by my bed. So um, yeah, I only use these probably like once every couple weeks if I really needed to, if I was so lazy that I didn't want to, but they're empty. There's no more left. I do have another one sitting by my bed because these are pretty good. I finished, oh, there's one more scented thing. This is a Yankee Candle Fresh Burst, which is like this little ball where you put these refills in and you just touch it and it uh, scents the room, which is pretty cool. I, keep, I, I kept this in my bathroom and I got this in my sister's favorite scent, Pink Sands. There's that. And this, the only complaint I have is that I feel like we, this got used up really quick. But other than that, it was super strong. Now on to um, beauty products. I finished up two of the Travel Size Immortel Precious Cleansing Foams from L'Occitane. These are great. I love these cleansing foams. They're just a facial wash. I keep one in my shower and one by the sink at all times right now. I am using a um, facial cleanser from Corez right now, which is the like Greek yogurt facial or Greek yogurt cleanser, which is okay. I mean, it's not, it's it's good. I like it, but um, I'm trying to finish all the little samples of like cleansers I had. So these were next. Although whenever I finish up everything, but I still have a 32 ounce big bottle of purity, so won't be for a while. I will be getting the full size um, cleanser in this. So, because what I like is it comes in an eco refill bag. So once I'm done with the cleanser, unscrew the cap. Um, this one doesn't because it's a travel one, but unscrew the uh, thing. Yeah, this one doesn't do it. But yeah, you can unscrew it and uh, fill it up again, which I think is great. I finished up a sample of the L'Occitane Essential Sublime Skin Perfector. And it looks like this, and it's just like a uh, skin perfecting serum. I used this before I went to get my senior pictures. I just put it all over my face, and um, I thought my skin looked pretty good for my pictures. So, used that sample up. I used up the worst body lotions on the planet, which are Lush body lotions. I can't stand them. This is Sympathy for the Skin Hand and Body Lotion. You put this on, it's so greasy, it's so thick. Even though it's not thick formula, it just feels like it's closing up your pores. It's so terrible. I hated it. Ugh. I can't even tell you how much it's bad. I finished up a Wild Citrus Sunflower Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. This was probably like down to here when I started it. So I used it, I think, as a bubble bath two times and it was done. So I hate Bath & Body Works, but that's a different story. Um... Pomegranate Meringue Shampoo Shower Gel and Bubble Bath from Philosophy. This scent was awesome. This was just a little 6-ounce size. Super, super creamy pomegranate scent. It's awesome. I finished a Victoria's Secret Endless Sunset uh, Whipped Body Souffle. This scent was really good. It smelled like, um, how does it say? Hawaiian Orchid and Currant. It's really hard to describe. It was a little bit floral, but... It was super nice for, like, the end of summertime. I finished a Coconut Passion Vanilla and Coconut Body Lotion as well. So that's all empty. This was yummy. It's like a creamy coconut scent. I really like this scent. I finished two little travel size L'Occitane products. I finished the 20% Shea Butter Hand Cream, which is amazing. And I also finished the 15% Shea Butter Foot Cream which both of these I have full sizes of. They are great products. I finished a travel size of the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argon Oil Light. I use this every single morning on my face as my facial moisturizer. It is incredible. I don't know why this is. There we go. So that's what that looks like. It's awesome. It's like a little dropper form. There might be like one drop left. No, there's nothing left. This bottle. Oh. 
four drops left. Oh well, it's just Argon oil, you know. It's um, it's a pretty good product. Then I finished up with Josie Marin the Whipped Argon Oil Body Butter in Moroccan Escape, which is such a yummy scent. This smells, it's vanilla pear, but everybody at school said it smelled like sweet tarts, which I can totally get. It's a super, super, super yummy scent, and her body butter formula is awesome. I actually, do I have it right here? I do. Hold on. Um... Her traditional body butter comes in this 8-ounce size. It's a great size, but she made a 13.5-ounce size, which is also pretty great, so it's a little less than double of that. But people were like, come on, Josie, you know, you give us gigantic sizes of everything. We want a ginormous size. So here is the brand-new 19-ounce body butter from Josie Mirren. You almost need two hands. Looks just like this. So here's the baby size or the regular size next to this look at the difference in size it's huge you have to like see it to believe it it's so big that's awesome well, love that product then I also have another jumbo body butter well the 13 ounce one in sweet citrus which is a super super yummy scent I use this like I use this in the morning time. I don't know why I'm showing you. It's an empty container. But I use this scent in the mornings to really, like, wake you up. It's yummy. I finished a body wash from um, Philosophy in Yellow Brick Road, which is sugary marshmallow. This was okay. It wasn't anything to cry out about. It had too much lemon in it for my liking. I finished a Corez Papaya Manga Shower Gel, which was yummy. I love their shower gels. They're so hydrating. I finished a First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, which is a great product. You can use this from the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Everywhere. Face, body, and it's an unscented body cream. It's a skin protectant with um, First Aid Beauty Antioxidant Booster. I finished the Fresh Cream Body Polishing Scrub, which is that same amazing fresh cream scent. Yum, but with... Oh, there's still some left. I don't know why I did that, because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, it's a scrub. But anyway, I finished that up. It was in a tube form, which is I love having them in a tube. I finished the 613 Ultra Nourishing Replenishing Treatment Mist. I use this every day before I go to bed in my hair. Um, just a great spray from when. I finished the Bon Mare Creamy Hand Wash from L'Occitane. Um, it does have a pump. It was a great hand wash. I finished three of the worst body scrubs in the world, the bathing garden. I think they're the, the terrible scrubs. They leak it, not leak everywhere, but you put them on and like that sloth goes everywhere. I don't know. It's just terrible. Um, I finished blackberry jam and lemon curd. I finished honey toffee and I finished fairy bonfire. I have like four more left to use. Can't wait. I see no results with them. Anything. They're terrible. But anyway, that was my 13 minute empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!